All right, I'm sick. My voice is hoarse. It gets worse every day. But hopefully you can understand me. But I wanted to show some uh, tweaks. I did, while sick and bored, to the NVIDIA Shield. Some, you know, root access needed tweaks. Um, if you're unaware of uh, Exposed Framework, it's actually really cool and really easy to use and I kind of ignored it for quite some time and I figured while well, I'm bored let me try it out and I found out how fucking awesome it is um, it basically lets you have a lot of features that you normally get only with like custom ROMs but with stock ROM so if you think the stock ROM is the most stable ROM which for a lot of devices I've actually found that to be true but you like a lot of the features they include in the custom ROMs you can now add a lot of those features, you know, to the stock ROM, such as something like this, a reboot menu. So now I have screenshot, reboot, and I can also, uh, if I click reboot, there's reboot, soft reboot, recovery, and bootloader. So I don't need an app for that, you know, normally you have an app, well it's kind of an app, but, you know, you don't have to go into the app drawer and find, you know, quick reboot and all that and it has like the confirmation and all that shit another cool thing I found which I thought was really awesome was a lot of fun and uh, I mean I don't know that this is a great screen size for something like this but if you know uh, Samsung has that side-by-side -side kind of application where you can launch more than one you can launch your apps in Windows well there's this one's in beta but I can now launch all my applications in Windows so I can basically go on say in my web browser pull up a video on YouTube I'm just gonna pull up any random video so if you see something scary I'm sorry but I can't help it is that anime porn or something just click on it whatever um, just start the video I, I'm, I'm scared to see what it is but whatever um, so now Let's say, pretend this is a, um, you know, a DS, uh, you know, walkthrough for a DS emulator or something, all right? So I want to make it bigger. And now I pull up Super Mar New Super Mario Brothers uh, through Drastic. And I can play my game in a window. If I was having trouble, I have the video right here. And, uh, yeah, so that's kind of cool. I can open up as many apps as I want. And you can also have the app pause if you get out of it. So, and some apps all, or just pause no matter what. Um, another thing, I want to adjust something because uh, it's a little too bright here for this. All right. So, here we have quick tiles. Custom ones, which you normally only get this in, cu in custom ROMs, but I can add as many things as I want, really. Not as many, but they, I can add a lot of things here. And yeah, I have a transparent status bar. Uh, I also have this, is, you know, been tweaked. Um, yeah, there's expanded desktop mode, which I don't need. Which, why is full screen there? Oh yeah, full screen, that's right, that's part of the thing there. But yeah, that's this is Gravity Box that does this, by the way, the one with the power menu and all that. Uh, there's Gravity Box. You can bring some of the uh, Kit Kat style things to uh, this. So, yeah. Let me end this video here. Oh, also you can kind of maximize the window and throw it up in the status bar but it, normally it doesn't oh actually it came back normally it doesn't <laughs> um so yeah that that works Let's let that go away so I can end this and also if I you know it's, it's in beta so it's not like the most stable thing so some of the stuff when you try to launch it in a uh, window in the window mode thing uh, it it won't launch so you have to have something that will launch in that 
that mode to get the other one to launch that way and it has to be like there's a, there's a setting to get it so that when you have one app launched like that then the the rest of the apps will launch like that afterwards until you end all the apps or whatever and it has to have one app open like that and you click on it and another app will open like that but sometimes the apps won't do it if there's not one open already and whatever I am I don't think that makes any sense but whatever another cool feature a couple of them get Jesus Christ accidentally hit the shield button oh there it is right here it tells me how much RAM I'm using and how much RAM I have left available up here is this little feature where you tap it and it ends all the apps right away so you don't have to uh, end them one by one so that's that's always fun um so yeah and then oh also let me see if I can get this to work like this if I long hold that it brings it it says open up open in halo and it doesn't work <laughs> but let's see no actually that's not going to do it let me try play store some of the apps, like I said, don't work. <laughs> Open in Halo, and now it opens the Play Store. Um, I did that wrong, though. You actually have to uh, get out of it with a home button. Then go to Recent Apps. Hit Open in Halo. And now you can have the Play Store in a window. And open up whatever app you want. And... Uh, a little bit. It, there's a way to resize. Yeah, there you go. It's a little hard to resize, but um, no. Jesus Christ. So, like I said, it's it's a beta thing, but it's actually really cool. So yeah, if you wanted to walk through while you're playing a game, you can actually watch that while playing the game, or whatever. You can sit there and watch porn and uh, play video games at the same fucking time. <laughs> Or you can play games while, uh, you know, someone watches a movie or something. Netflix doesn't work, though. It pauses when you go into your game, so. But maybe XBMC or something. You watch live television. Someone else plays a game. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, so, yeah. I think I've done some other stuff. Let me look through my app drawer to remind myself of what the hell I've installed here. Um, by the way, the, the, the floating stuff or whatever, the side-by-side -side thing, is called X-Halo, um, floating window. So, yeah. And, let's see, what if I installed here? Huh. Oh, X-Themer. I don't know that I need that. Uh, What's-A-Face has themes already. Gravity box themes already. That's quite a few. Is it, oh, app settings. That allows you to change like the D, uh, the uh, PPI resolution stuff that the app sees. So say okay, EA games a lot of times have trouble downloading their data in in the app because what's it called? Because um because of the the resolution and everything. Um, you could fake a resolution basically and tell it'll have the uh, app be told that you have a certain resolution, PVI, or whatever, blah blah blah. And um, if you get the right settings, it will actually fucking download the data and then you could actually play the game. So you could basically have per app things where you, you know, one app's maybe like EA shit apps are not being told the right, are not be giving, being given the special PPI and resolution or whatever that they want to download the data so you can have it tell it something else and it'll download the data although I haven't gotten it to work because I don't know what settings to use so whatever I'm going to show for the hell of it I'll show you a bit of a different game for uh, this let me see I'll show you two things running at once if I can get out of my way oh there we go um, 
So now we have it. I need to ask for God damn it. There's a way to do this. No. Whatever. I'll go over here and move this one over here. And we have a web browser open. And we can play Asphalt 7 in a window. And there could be a video over here. And uh, you can bump, jump around between you know Asphalt 7, PlayStation emulator. Uh, N64 is a little iffy. It, it acts up. But like DS works. A few others. And uh, <clears throat> you know I could play you know, whatever, I could play a game. And it works fine. And, uh, yeah. So I'm waiting there. Go to YouTube. Come back here. And then it loads YouTube, and like I said, you can just click on a video. The video will play. You just have to disable uh, app pausing or whatever it's called, which pauses the application. But even if you disable that, some game, some uh, mostly games, but some applications in general still pause because that's kind of how they work. Well, yeah, you see, I can use, can play the game in a window, in windowed mode. So yeah, there it is. Alright, so we get in that, and that, and that. And that's, uh, I think, about it. And I'll show you a fun little reboot. Hit reboot. I said hit reboot. And reboot. Hit OK. Say power off. And do an actual proper reboot. <coughs> Whoa, God! <laughs> And I really want to go out, <laughs> but I'm not gonna, because then everybody else will be doing the same thing that I'm doing. Blah! Oh God! Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I wish I didn't give a fuck about anybody. I just go out and, you know, give everybody my cold. <laughs> like I don't care. Come on. Reboot. Reboot Mr. Shield, Mr. Dirty Screen Shield. And so, yeah, that that's basically the tweaks. Thought it was really cool, so I figured I'd show it. Plus, I'm bored. Thanks for watching.